The Great Exhibition is the most ambitious project in the history of the community focused not on the military capabilities but the cultural contributions of those involved in the exhibition. Sponsored by His Imperial Majesty the Emperor of the Sarovian Commonwealth, this exhibition will showcase the benefits of the Commonwealth and the nations within it on a cultural and artistic scale. The exhibition welcomes all nations' states to showcase their superiority over the rest and prove to the community that they are not just one-time things, but instead offer a lasting impact on the community. The second day of the exhibition will sponsor the new Sarovian Empire's dominions and colonies across the seas and oceans, in Ostos and in Oreos. The new Sarovian Empire can be aptly described as a nation-builder in whichever game it sets its mighty foot upon, indeed, two flourishing dominions thrive within Roblox and a foundling dominion on Graal Olwest. Even further abroad, the crown colony of Constantia rises as a flourishing city, full of innovation, advanced technology and manufacturing. These colonies and dominions are the bodyguards of the glorious new Sarovian Empire, of which protect the influence and interest of the empire abroad. Each proudly waves the Sarovian tricolor, usually in the canton of the flag. These colonies, while not all being part of the Graal game franchise, offer the wider Graal military community a distinct ability to explore, have fun, and to break free of the restraints imposed on them by Graal itself. The Greater New Sarovian Empire is founded on what is known as the Vasa system, which is based on self-autonomous governments which have full legal independence from the New Sarovian Empire. In exchange for the autonomy of these territories with no fuss from Sarhom, the monarch of these dominions is invested in the king, who shares the title with the king of the Sarovians. As well, the Imperial Navy and Army remains in the authority of the new Sarovian Empire, with jurisdiction being delegated to the dominions in peacetime only. The oldest of these dominions is also the youngest, the Sarovian Dominion of Karolusburg was founded as a Sarovian colony back in 2016 under the reign of His Imperial Majesty Emperor Constantine IV, when expeditionary forces of the new Sarovian Empire landed onto the shores of Ostos and fought off the new frontier republic, the predecessor of the Orion Empire. The legendary founding figure, Rear Admiral Crockett, publicly humiliated the republic's leaders in battle numerous times though was forced to return to Classic upon the death of the Emperor. Under Carolus XII and Constantine VI, later in 2017, the Imperial Navy and Army resettled upon the banks of the continent for good. For five years, Orion natives and Sarovian marksmen exchanged fire and fought numerous colonial wars between the numerous feuds between Sarhome and Valarosh. The Sarovian colonies of Sarixia, Karolusburg and New Sarhome formed the Sarovian Three Colonies, which made up the bulk of the Sarovian presence on Olwest. Constant skirmishes between Orion and Sarovian personnel culminated in the Second Saro-Orion War in the summer of 2022 where Sarovian victories over the Orion fleet and army decisively shattered the Orion Empire. A large refugee crisis then occurred, which caused a unique cultural mix of Orion and Sarovian with those within the Karolisburger Dominion claiming proud heritage of. Due to the decisive victory over the Orions, His Imperial Majesty Constantine IX declared the foundation of the Dominion of Karolisburg, and appointed the first Governor-General, His Grace the Duke of Burvanica, Richard Lux. The fledgling Dominion is thus simultaneously the oldest colony and youngest Dominion. But to those who inhabit Karolusburg, the self-proclaimed Karodians, the Dominion takes after its mother nation in all things cultural and artistic. The Dominion of Karolusburg, while young, has several proud initiatives on the way. The first and current Prime Minister of the Dominion, His Grace the Duke Belbarter of Begonia Henry Vassa, has already created a Dominion police force which takes after its home country, as well as working heavily on the cultural aspects of the Dominion. Political advertisements encouraging immigration to the Dominion are common, as well as many political art pieces to represent the connections of the Dominion to the motherland. The Dominion is home to the beginning of an architectural revolution, as well. Despite limited options in Estos, the Dominion Parliament has been created with seating for both the Commons, the Peers, and plenty of visitors. Escora Hall has been created by order of His Majesty the King of Karolusburg, which is the seat of vice-regal power and the residence of the King upon his visits to the Dominion. The Viscount Gordon likewise has created an elaborate estate for himself which is public as a museum of captured Orion loot, such as weapons and uniforms. These relics, to a militarized society such as the ones the Corodians partake in, are a popular attraction. Indeed, the majority of the Corodians are members of the Imperial Navy and they are proud of it. Many artwork showcases the pride of the Dominion and its naval heritage, as well as the founding fathers of the Dominion, 
the naval offices which established it in the very beginning. But not only are the heroes and offices of the navy represented in relishing in the cultural grandeur that the Sarovian Commonwealth offers them, but also the rankers and everyday men and women of the navy. To the Dominion citizens, there is nothing that makes them more proud than three things. Their unique role as the eldest son and heir of the new Sarovian Empire, their steadfast loyalty to the crown and of course, the unique culture of which is found nowhere else in the Commonwealth and perhaps the community. To visit the oldest dominions, we must leave Graal entirely and travel to Roblox of which we can explore the dominions of Philippia and Metani. The oldest of the daughters of the empire is Philippia, named after the late king of Rus, Philip Vassa. In March of 2021, His Imperial Majesty's Privy Council commissioned His Grace the Duke of Poltava, Severax Vassa, to pen what has become known as the Oslander Report. This report recommended the Sarovian colonization of Roblox in the name of the Crown. Weeks later, the first Sarovians landed on the shores of Roblox and were given the objective to colonize, subjugate and settle the vast lands of what the Sarovian Commonwealth calls the Continent of Oreos. Naval officers aboard the frigate HIMS Kiev spotted land and landed detachments of the Imperial Army soon landed. After initial defeats by the hands of the local populations, the Imperial Engineer Regiment began to build Fort Philipville, which was used as a de facto capital territory while the army conquered territory under the orange, white and blue. On 12 May, Sarovian infantrymen were ambushed by native levies who after half an hour were repelled. Two days later, the Imperial Army dug the Gus Trench Line and fought the decisive battle on Mount Ray, which saw the surrender of the native warriors and migration of the vanquished past the Saba River. Quickly, the Imperial Parliament in Sarhom petitioned the Emperor which granted the first colonial charter of sovereignty, which serves as the basis of the Dominion of Philippia's constitution to this very day. The Dominion, unlike her sibling nations, became her own quite early on. Under the first Prime Minister of the Dominion, Sir Jafar al-Assad, the Dominion waged war of territorial expansion ruthlessly in the name of the King of Philippia. The Dominion Hats and Caps Party rallied behind the banner of the Prime Minister which quickly passed martial legislation as well as civil rights and liberties, as well as concerning the establishment of a new capital city, the city of Rachelsburg. In July of that year, Sarovian army defectors and revanchist native tribes waged a guerrilla war against the ever-growing Dominion known as the Thurwick War. After a series of battles, the Dominion's militia fought the Battle of the Saba River which broke the back of the rebel forces. The rebel leader was assassinated and the Thurwick host surrendered later that month. Upon properly defending her borders, the Dominion's culture began to flourish and become much different to that of her mother country. Well sought after architecture known as the Graalkulian style was propped up in Bellwood Province, such as Rosendal Palace, St. Charles Hospital and the Philippian Parliament buildings. Each of them provide an elaborate and ornate decorative style which showcases the Dominion's influence, whilst also staying humble and reflective of the Dominion's place in the wider empire. The Philippian Parliament was one of the most popular buildings in the Dominion and quickly became a tourist attraction. The Dominion of Philippia also formed a secondary dominion known as the Dominion of Metani later on in the year through an alliance made with John Torchell, its founder. After disagreements with Philippia, however, Metani declared independence and as such the latter half of the year for the Dominion was stuck fighting a series of battles known as the Metanoian Bush War in August. After months of fighting and a series of battles at Muka, Bezi and elsewhere, the Imperial Navy and Army landed the proud Philippian boys of the Rachelsburg Rifles Regiment onto the Torchal Heights and secured a decisive victory, capturing the Dominion and returning it to the fold. Today, both Dominions work closely hand in hand to restore Metanau's former glory and allow her to focus on contributing culture and strength to the Empire. The Dominions played a vital role in Sarovian culture by contributing a large portion towards the ever-growing naval culture of the Imperial Navy, as well as incredible technological advances. The Imperial Navy was based in the Oreos Dominions and continues to do so due to the invention of steel battleships and cruisers which strengthen Sarovian hegemony over the seas and waves. Indeed, the first steam engine ships and gunboats were created on the frontiers of the Dominion, which has been exported all across the empire, from Constantia to Karolusburg. Alongside technological advances on sea, the Dominion has invented chemical mixtures for use in war and how to avoid them, as well as the telegram and radios of which they prefer to play the Saroviana in their parliament. The ties of the new Sarovian empire to her eldest daughter Dominions are strong and close-knit. 
the Dominion holds a strong, Anglo-Sarovian identity that is featured in everything it does, such as refusing to celebrating its Dominion Day in favor of May 21st, its constant art, culture and advertisements being that of the Sarovian colors, and retaining a strong bond to the Sarovian military culture by maintaining old ancestral uniforms of its various regiments, as well as maintaining a high proficiency in drill and deportment. One of the most famous pieces of art was drawn by state artist Arthur Ridgway, which depicted the Battle of Bezzy and the advance of the Rachelsburg Rifles. Mr. Ridgway would eventually become the second Prime Minister of the Dominion, before stepping down to assist the Dominion of Metani. Their first Governor-General, the third Earl Kane Sir Kidbrutal, was widely hailed as a hero of the Dominion and was one of the most prominent Sarovian artists of all time. These dominions, as our Lord God Stephan intended, bear the spear and shield to protect Mother Sarovia's flanks as well as embrace the cultural benefit that the Commonwealth bestows upon Graal and the wider military community. Lastly, of the faraway colonies of Minecraft, lay the jewel in the Sarovian Commonwealth's crown, the city of Constantia. Settled upon the banks of what Sarovians called Boreas, a small naval colony was established by the name of Sylvestra Landing in honor of the Empress Consort. The colonists quickly departed the island in search of the larger Borean continent, and established first the suburb of Granby and secondly the city of Constantia, which serves as the seat of the government in the Borean continent. The city, one so beautiful to rival the best neighborhoods of the imperial capital at Sarhome, are the envy of colonial empires across Graal and elsewhere the empire may find itself flourishing. The establishment of the colonial city truly began the export of the Constantian Age of Architecture, which built great ballrooms, manors, estates, marketplaces, banks, museums and more. These buildings are styled in copious amounts of marble, quartz, limestone and other precious materials, which allow the grandeur of the empire to sting jealousy into her opponents. Government House, the first official residency of the Emperor when on vacation in Boreas, is modestly designed in an intentional symbol of the modest beginnings of the colony whereas Woodchester Lodge, far into the depths of continent and surrounded by hundreds of acres of woodland, is elaborately designed as a valuable hunting lodge, where the Sarovian sport of Geoshunter is played, a local cultural variant of hunting wild animals. This culture is popular amongst the elite in the woods of Woodchester, where carefully captivated games such as birds, foxes, wolves and bears are hunted with minimal equipment for various levels of points, thus putting oneself in harm's way in the name of the sport. The colonial technological advancement itself has grown significantly over the years. Frigates from the Imperial Navy usher in immigrants every month, but in an effort to expedite the process, the Imperial Post Crown Corporation have created the S-101 airship which is known to occasionally fly in tourists, migrants and government officials. Other forms of limited air travel, such as the jacked Model 4 biplane, are frequently flying above the continent, and have been transformed into military purposes to ward off the violent native peoples known as the Pilu. Bordering the village of Granby, Regency Bay is a flourishing bastion of trade and supply, with the establishment of elaborate island houses and churches in the Carolina and Lena Islands. Massive gold mines are then shipped back via warship to Sarhome to be minted into the elaborate Sarovian national currency and the miners paid handsomely. Overall, the greater new Sarovian Empire have performed with dutiful admiration their obligations as beacons of culture, stability and civilization to all around them. Regardless if they consider themselves Philippian, Metanoian or Corodians, or if they view themselves as citizens of New Sarovia, they have bore the sword, shield and spear of the Emperor and obey his command to bring civilization to the community. The Sarovian Commonwealth's core members are thriving due to this esteemed organization, which gives thanks to their crown and his steady hand.